Hello and welcome. In this video, we will learn more about functions. All right. Now, to a function, when you are calling it, you can pass arguments of different data types. Okay. So let me write a function and show it to you. So here I will say void because I am not expecting any return values and let me name it as details and here i'll say string name okay string name int age and double height okay double height and let me say see out your name is and let me say name and let me copy this quickly and paste it two times your age height age height okay yes <clears throat> so see so this function here is taking three arguments one is name which is of data type string second is age which is of data type int and third is height which is of data type double okay so you can pass arguments of different data types to a function all right so here let me call the function and pass the values i'll say details and let me pass ravi so ravi is a string and that is why it has to be in double quotes and then age let me say 34 and height let me say 5.9 okay so let me call this function and you can see i have this to make it look good let me use and l and l and when i run this you can see I get this. So this is of string data type, this is of integer, this is of uh, double data type. Okay. Now you can also use a default parameter value by using equal sign. Okay. Let me show you how. So here let me have this here okay at the end all right so string name double height and int age so i'm passing age at last that's all all right so now here i will say 5.9 now when i run this i will get an error this is because here i'm expecting three values but i am sending only two here okay but here in this example, let us say the ages of everyone is five years old. Okay. So or not five, 35 years old. The age of everyone is 35 years old. So you can fix 35 for age by using equal to symbol. Okay. So I'll say 35. Now when I run this, I'll get Ravi. 35 and 59 okay meaning meaning this 35 will be taken as default parameter okay 35 will be taken by default if we do not send any value while calling the function okay but if we send a value but if we send a value then this will be overridden or this will be ignored i can say 35 will be ignored whatever we send will be considered so you can see we get 45 so if we do not send if we do not send then whatever is the default value will be taken into consideration okay now we can do this only for the last parameter okay now we cannot say int age here and pass age 
and expect the height to be taken as 5.8 all right so let me run this and you can see i get an error here this is because it takes ravi for name 52 for height okay and it doesn't know what to take for age because we have not sent any value even though we have said height is equal to 5.8 this doesn't know that this should be sent for age what this function called us is it sends 52 for height okay that is why it says that it is an that it is expecting a value for age okay so you cannot do like this if you want to have a default parameter then it must be at the end okay it must be at the end clear yes so this is one more thing next let me uh, explain the concept of function overloading all right uh, before I explain you the concept, I need to write a small uh, function. So let me do that. So I'll delete this. I'll say and let me say int. So int. Let me name it as add numbers. Okay. Or here, let me say add integer nums. Okay. Add integer nums. And here I'll say int x and int y. Okay. So here I'll say return x plus y. Okay. So this is my one small function. And in the same way, let me copy this. I will write one more function. And this function will be of double. So add double nums. So double and double okay so only thing that varies here is this is for integer this is for double okay so here in main function let me write the program so I'll say int result is equal to add int nums and let me use 7 and 5 and uh, I want to print it out int and I will say result and in the next line I will say double result 2 is equal to add double nums and 4.7 comma 5.3 okay so I'll say C out and here I'll say double and result 2 and then okay yes so let me run this and see if there are any errors okay I'm getting the expected answer here so let me change it to 4 all right int 12 add double 10.1 so here i have created two functions one is to add integer numbers and one is to add double numbers okay and here i'm passing 7 and 5 for integer number function and 4.7 and 5.4 for double number functions all right so you know uh, how to write this is this is very basic now the thing is instead of defining two functions that basically do the same thing what we can do is we can overload one function okay see here this function what does it do it adds two number that's all correct this function what does it do it adds two number that's all correct so basically both the functions are doing the same thing so instead of uh, defining two functions separate functions separate functions which basically do the same thing what we can do is we can overload one all right so what we basically do is we give the same name for this also 
all right so add int nums add int nums so here let me delete int and here also let me delete int so basically this is add nums add nums all right so now let me delete this okay let me delete this and let me delete this all right so let me run it and you can see i get the same result okay so here i am calling the function add nums and i am passing 7 and 5 both are of integer data types correct so this will be called because here we have integer data types here we are calling add nums the same function but with 4.7 and 5.4 values which are double values so when this is called the control goes to this or this block of code gets executed because we have sent double value and this is called as function overloading so as long as the number and or the type of parameters are different different multiple functions can have the same name okay see this is double this is int both are different correct so as long as the type of parameters are different the functions can have same name all right so this is called as function overloading i hope this is clear yes so that's it about functions go ahead and practice the things that we have learnt in this video I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and thank you for watching.